everyone, welcome to another episode and this is a very special episode dahil po kasama kong aking fur babies. All dapat 8 sila, pero yung isa may sakit, so he's isolated. Si Ari. So, all my girls are with me, my seven girls. And this is Daisy, the queen of them all. Say hi. hi. Tingnan niyo, pag binuhat ito parang tao. <laughs> she just how, how's your position when you're buhat? <laughs> Kasi ito siya ay parang nakapay ko. <laughs> Kahit buhat. Tapa ching ching! Tumumba na lang tumumba. And uh, this is my special, special um, uh, vlog on how much I love my dogs talaga. Where's the camera, baby? <laughs> You're so showbiz. <laughs> I love kissing my dog, sorry. Yeah. She's my smart poodle. Oh, she's my pretty. My oh, pretty, so pretty. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> girl I've always loved animals but we've always had dogs so we never had cats talaga so parang I never I never I still don't know how it is to have a cat in the house anyway so I've always had dogs I'm nothing against cats but I just never had a cat so I wouldn't know how to handle a cat um, I've always been a dog person yeah, but Talagang hypoallergenic dapat lahat ng aso because my kids talaga may hika. So, they're all allergic. Pero ang hirap dahil wala naman talagang asong 100% hypoallergenic. Pero doon ako sa hypoallergenic na tinatawag na breeds kasi na allergy sila. Yung biglang sisiponin, uubukin, lalagnatin. Si Miel nagbe-break out in. Nung nagpapantal bigla na pula, tapos hindi makahinga. Tapos si Frankie din nagbe-break out. Si Miguel, lalag natin pa. Ganun. So, pero si Miguel, basta hindi sila sabay-sabay na nakikipaglaro kay Miguel, kaya niya. So, si Pixie at si Bella, kalaro niya lagi. At si Lapipi, ganyan. Si Hali. Ang hilig pa naman sa aso ng mga anak ko. They all love uh, the dogs very much, like I do. And ito, kahit mainit ang ulo ni Kiko, kahit galit siya, alam mo, ganyan, 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 ganyan. Pag nakita niya si Daisy, alam mo, ganyan, ganyan. Daisy, my baby! Nawala na lahat. So, parang... <laughs> pag naiinis siya, hirapo lang si Daisy. <laughs> so, anyway. Um, my love for dogs started. Started when I was a little girl. Maliit pa ako. But it was my brother who always had dogs. Tapos parang... Pag nagka-anak, biglang bibigay niya sa akin yung ano. And my... The dog I loved most, I remember, before Solomon, was a Japanese Spitz. I named Blondie. She was in the movie P.S. I Love You. Pero doon, hindi ko nang bakit ayaw pa nila gamitin yung Blondie. Pinangalan siyang Bubbles. <laughs> Siya yung puting aso sa P.S. I Love You na Bubbles yung pangalan. When Blondie died, I never wanted another dog again. Until one day, I was doing TSC as a Delta Theater. Meron akong fan na hapon. May dalang Shih Tzu na maliit na male. And I was newly married to Kiko then. It was a little four-month-old male that I named Solomon because, you know, Oprah Winfrey's dog, she named Solomon. So, I fell so much in love with him. Tagal din ni Solomon sa amin. Hindi ko nga alam kung 12, 12 to 14 years, mga ganun. Shih Tzu rin siya. So, I loved him so much. Katabi namin ni Kiko sa bed yun. Tapos napunta kami ng Boston ng isang taon. Pagbalik namin, talagang parang atakin siya sa puso, sa saya. O tinuwi ako, ganun. Um, hindi niya nung sinuunahin sa aming tatlo ako, si Kiko o si Casey. When I gave birth to Frankie, I was so ignorant then. Hindi ko alam, okay lang naman pala yung meron pang aso, especially a Shih Tzu na supposedly hypoallergenic. Eh si Frankie slept in the ante room of the master's bedroom, which was for all intents and purposes, our living room. May sala kami, ito master's, may pinto, tapos may sala, may dining room. Uh, eh, sorry, may yeah, dining area. So, itong sala, malaki-laki siya. We put Frankie's crib here and her yaya's bed here. So, we still had our privacy, but our baby was in a room. And we couldn't, I thought, 
we thought we couldn't keep Solomon in the room with us. So, nag-demote siya sa, to downstairs. Tapos parang he was so sad. So, I felt, I had a lot of guilt when Solomon passed away. Because he was our baby, then Frankie came. And parang na neglect siya. Well, neglect in the sense, hindi na siya sa amin natutulo. And I carried that guilt for so long. Ayaw ko na talaga magkaroon ng asko. Um, before Solomon, the boy nga gave me D-boy, a Pomeranian. Binili ko pa ng asawa. Then when they passed away na naman, nabreak na naman yung heart ko. So tarang ayaw ko na ng asko. Until one day, say ko, kailangan ko labanan to. So dinideny ko sa sarili ko na gusto ko ng shih tzu. So bumili ako ng chow chow, si Mochi a female child who's now in the farm because she's not well dito, and she's not hypoallergen. I also got a multi Sikaya who stayed with us because she's hypoallergenic. Siya. And Kaya passed away just a few years ago. We were still in Alaba. And um, this is my Daisy. Sorry, you want to go for the boy? Yeah. You want to go down? Go down the Okay. Anyway, I'm not with you. <laughs> si Donya Daisy. Anyway, Dini-deny ko, ang gusto ko talaga Shih Tzu. So one day, um, Frankie told her that, I think you should get mama Shih Tzu because she really wants one, but she doesn't want a male, she wants a female because she didn't, I didn't really want to replace Solomon. I wanted to honor him. But but I was denying it to myself. Ayoko kumuha ng Shih Tzu kasi feeling ko parang tinatridor ko yung memory ni, Soli, ni Solomon. So we called him Soli for short. And then, Kiko came in one day with a little four-month-old female Shih Tzu. This beautiful girl. What is what is? Mama's girl. And ang talagang dikit to mama. And um, when he came in, he said, someone's here. I said, who? Pagtingin ko, may maliit na maliit na Shih Tzu na nakaklip pa dito. Halos <laughs> walang buhok. Ano ko gumawa? <laughs> Gusto ko yung fabrices kasi hanggang ngayon nakaklip. Ito siya. Six years old na siya ngayon. Kiss mama. Oh, 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 oh. Kiss mama. Where's my baby? Oh, Jules. Oh, Jules. Where's daddy's girl? <laughs> Dave. Alam niyo, pagpasok talaga at nakita ko, yung hagulgul ko talaga, grabe. Doon ko na-realize na shit so talaga. Eh, parang si Solomon talaga yung super na I still remember my story. Mahal na mahal rin. So, anyway, later, nung medyo three years old na si Daisy, sabi ko, ipamate natin. Um, so, sa vet namin, merong isang pasyente na nakatira din sa alabang, nakakasabay niya minsan sa walking pag winawalk sila. Pangalan niya si Hunter. <laughs> na shih tzu rin. Pogi, si Hunter. So, sa vet sila, nag loving ni Daisy. Sa vet sila para assisted. Kasi innocent yung baby girl ko. <laughs> Tapos, nang mga, nakakatuwa ng buntis ito. Talaga, <sighs> Tapos maglalagay siya. May, may unan siyang ganun. Doon siya papatong na... <sighs> Kasi laki na siya niya. Nung mga anak na, um, ang nagpunta sa vet, si Kiko at si Mia, <laughs> At parang ako yung mga anak. Kasi cesarian si Miss Daisy. This is my six-year-old Daisy, who is mama's big, big girl. She's really the queen. Pag nasa bahay ako, talagang, I'm a homebody. So, she's basically like me. Nas nakahiga lang or nakaupo lang sa kama, uh, kasi my bed is like my office, my whatever. I live on my bed. Kasi ganyan lang siya. So, hindi siya hindi siya, mahi, hindi siya talaga nasanay na kalaro yung mga aso. Kala talaga niya, isa siya sa mga anak namin. So, kahit minsan nanonood kaming movie sa screen or sa laptop, kasama yung mga bata, biglang may isang sisiksik doon at gigit na, nanonood din siya. <laughs> Tapos tingnan mo siya, alam niya may camera. Alam niya ang camera. Alam niya. So kahit sa mga Christmas pictures, hindi siya talaga umaalis hanggat hindi mo siya buhatin. Gusto niya sumali. Nakakatuwa siya. Itong katabi namin matulog talaga ng six years na ngayon. So kahit magbanyo ako, maligo ako, magseremonya ako sa banyo, nakabantay siya kahit madaling araw. Nakakatuwa. She's so loyal and loving. And talagang wala lang. She's just like this. Kala yata ako siya. Tinayong ganyan lang siya, kasi ganyan lang ako. 
So she's the mother. She's the mother of Pipi and Hallie. Ito si Pipi. Oh, you see that's your baby. Eh. Si Pipi, yung si malditang pasimuno na si Pipi pero sweet. Pinakamatalino kasi yan. Well, actually silang lahat eh, nung nag-training, superstars yung shitsus ko rin eh. All of them actually. So, ito rin mga ito, laki sa amin. So, they know nothing but love. Wala siyang alam kundi love, lalo yung mga yan. yan. Si Pipi, after dinner, pagpasok na yung lahat, siya yung maakit sa isang silya. Na napaka-well-mannered, naghihintay lang siya. Pag nilagyan mong treat sa harap niya, doon siya kakain, pero hindi siya yung pupunta sa pagkain ng gano'n. She sabi ko, oh, parang well-mannered little dog pretending to be a person. <laughs> She's so sweet, si Pipi. She's very malabing and very smart. Si Pipi, nasa incubator pala. <laughs> Naka-face the wall na siya. Sabi ni Kiko, nako, parang ito yung noot dito. Totoo nga. Um, nung lumabas sila, apat sila, pero yung isa stillborn. So, kung nagkataon buhay silang lahat, tatlong babae at isang lalaki sila. Parang yung mga anak ng tao. Um, so, ang nangyari, natira yung isang boy at yung dalawang girls. So, si Pipi si Hali at yung kuya ni Hali, parang sumunod kay Pipi, si Sally. Okay, sorry yung namatay. Ito si Sally Sullivan. Yun talaga nung binigay na namin siya dun sa, kasi nang usapan, mag-share. So, kailangan namin magsuko ng isang puppy dun sa, sa tatay na, dun sa boyfriend ni Daisy na si Hunter, yung pamilya niya. So, binigay namin si Sally talaga para ako na may gayon ng anak. Yung umuwi ako galing shooting ng unexpectedly yours. Tapos nagbababay ako kay Sally. Ano, pakalambing pa naman. Tapos brown na, parang bulldog na. <laughs> Pakasweet siya yung malambing. Pati yung mga kasambahay namin. Ang sad kasi love na love nila si Sally. Tapos, iyak ako na. Iyak na. Binibideo ko pa siya. Mama's going to remember you forever. I'll never forget. You don't forget me. Dinalo pa namin minsan after mga siguro six months. Dinalo pa namin sa bahay nila. Sinama ko tong mga to. So parang nag, nag, titigan muna sila. Tapos nagkakilala na. Ayan na. Laro-laro sila. Tapos nung umalis na kami, at least happy ako nakita ko siya. Balita ko siya daw ngayon yung alpha doon at parang sumusunod na lang yung tatay niya sa kanya. Anyway, so after that, um, si Ari ko, before, actually before Daisy, cause Ari's already eight. Excuse me, yan naman bigay ni Pichet ni Anna sa akin. I was still in TV5 and Ari is a Bichon Frise. Some people say Bichon Frise. Bichon Frise, whatever. Parang pinsan ng koton, parang pinsan ni Pixie at ni Kaya na ng Maltese. And of course, I had my rescue chow from Po, si Rosie. Na matanda na siya nung na-rescue siya. At na-bring the nurse nila back to health. That, she, you know, when I finally got her, she had really just a few more years to live. But we wanted to give her a really comfortable, loving home bago siya pumanaw. Tapos siya at si Kaya cremated na yun. We also had a Rottweiler in Wakwa. I named her Noel, double L-E. Kasi I love Christmas. Eh. So Noel with uh, two L's and an E. But she was really a guard dog, so I didn't have much interaction with her inside the house. She was always outside with the boys and her daddy. Pag uuwi si Kiko at paalis, kagalun niya. So Noel and Kaya were both buried in uh, West Grove. Ah, no, not Kaya. Noel and my first vision that was a gift from Judy Ann, na nung binigay sa akin ng Lilith, I named her Asha, which is a Hawaiian name for, I think, ocean. Beautiful. I'm nagsasearch ako ng names din. Um, ganon, mga two weeks pa lang sa akin, she started vomiting. You know, and she was so tiny, and Kaya loved her. They slept in the same bed. Buti nga, I mean, praise God, hindi nahawa si Kaya, pero umiyak din ako kasi yung late week ni Asha. We had to bring her to the vet. So, dadali nila Kiko. Tapos itatawag sa amin, isang araw wala na siya kasi hindi na nila ma-cure. So, I didn't even have, uh, yun like a month with Asha. Parang, and it was painful because it was my first vision. It was from Judai. She was from Judai. So, Asha is buried in West Grove. Noel is buried in West Grove. And, Sorry was buried in Wakwa. And, Kaya and Rosie were cremated, so they're in nice urns now. Na mayroong pangbuhok nila, chakapopri. So anyway, ang natatakot ako kasi 
love ko silang lahat. Si Ari is my only boy na pag wala siyang sakit sa skin. Ngayon lang nagkasakit na niya. And the others, thank God, don't have that, um, hindi na hawa. Si Ari sobrang puti, sobrang bango. He's so pink under. Nung inahitan nga eh, sabi ko, ah, taba pala niya. <laughs> hindi na buhok. <laughs> so, um, yan yung paghumiga sa akin. Ang tawag ko Christmas. Kasi pag yung mot pinigil, hanggang Pasko, halikan ka. <laughs> kiss lang na kiss. <laughs> yung ano. So, my only boy yan. Tawag ko my baby boy. Ganyan, my son. Ganyan. Pag hiniga ako, kakulay nga yung maunan. <laughs> Tsaka yung bedsheet na puti. Minsan hindi nila alam may aso doon. Katabi ko, tapa ching ching. Hindi mo alam kung rag o unan. Nakakatuwa. Bella, this is the bunso. <laughs> she's four months old and she's gonna get bigger because she's a giant silver poodle. <laughs> this is just my pixie. Hey, hey, this <laughs> This is the one that always sleeps with me. This one, best friend niya si Bella because she came one week before Bella. And the others weren't so friendly pa towards her. So nung si Bella dumating, sila'y nagbonding. Kaya nang si Bella doesn't know kung gano'n siya kalaki. Kaya minsan, nakita ko nalang umiika-ika ito. Umiyak ako talaga kasi... Naglalaro sila, dinamba siya ni Bella. Tingnan mo na kung gano'n ko siya. Ang lambot-lambot talaga, parang bulak. Ako yung bibili ko, Mama, Pixie. So, I named her Pixie. Dumating lang sa isip ko kasi yung Pixie dust ni Tinkerbell, yung nagpapalipad kay Peter Pan, tsaka Pixies are fairies doon sa Tinkerbell na movie, diba? So, She's a sweet, sweet dog. <laughs> Playing. <laughs> this is my red poodle Twinkie. Yes, Bella, not your golden Twinkie. Oh, ah, sus. Oh, oh, don't fight. You're small, okay? This is Twinkie, my sweet, sweet poodle. Can you dance, baby? Dance, 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 dance. Can you dance? But you don't have to work so hard. And Bella knows she's a poodle, but she does not know she's not as small as Twinkie! Come here, Bella Blue! Come here, Bella Blue! <laughs> si Cookie! Parang kung po ano to para si Spider-Man. Umaakyat siya dahil siya'y pinakamaliit na poodle. Bilang tumatalo na may buwelo pa. Umaakyat parang kangaroo na dimaydi. This is Holly. Okay, I have to tell you. This is the bunso of Daisy. Daisy loves her. This is Habu. Daisy. I call her Holly Bubu, so Habu. Um, itong pinakamahinhin at pinakamaselan kong aso. At si Pipi, ate niya, malaki si Pipi kasi baby pa yan. Kung magdede kay Daisy, halos lahat na pwedeng dede ang inuubos niya. Pinoposisyon ko pa to kasi kawawa naman siya yung pinakamaliit. Hanggang ngayon, napakasela, napakahinhin. Parang dalagang Pilipina ito yon si Hali. She's very much, ayaw niya nakikigulo, so ayaw niya kami ng mga, it's okay, honey, it's okay. Pero nakikiss sila ni Pixie, na ayaw na ayaw ni Daisy, itong love ni Daisy. Daisy, it's Hattie, oh, baby. Daisy, Daisy, it's Hattie, it's Habu. It's your mama. She's scared of the other dog. It's okay, honey, she's so tiny. And she looks like her daddy, Hunter. So, there. Oh, to is my pretty. They really reduce my stress level. Parang kahit anong stress mo pag umuwi ka, sinalubong ka. Ganun. It's so, the love is so focused on you and directed at you. It's it's so unconditional. It's just pure love. And dogs are really affectionate. Like this one, doesn't leave me. Kahit madaling araw, at, uh, hindi siya, natuto na nga magpigil yan ng, di ba? <laughs> Call of nature. Um, yung alam mo yung nadudulin na siyang ganyan. Naantok siya sa banyo kahit madaling araw. Doon lang siya. Basta kailangan 
kasama niya ako, na amoy niya ako, nakikita niya ako. Tapos ayaw, pag may lumalapit ng ibang dogs, kahit mga anak niya, naiinis siya, lumalayo siya, or uupo siya sa isang tabi, nakatingin lang siyang ganyan. Nung bago si Pixie, parang, parang gusto niyang patayin. <laughs> Hindi sila nakikibuan. <laughs> Dinadaanan, nakaganyan siya. Si Pixie naman, alam nang umiwas sa kanya. Pero nakikifriend pa rin kasi napaka-sweet niya si Pixie. Um, basta may dogs, wala silang alam kundi love. Dahil sobrang love ang nakikita nila from us, from us. Tsaka may balak pa kasi kung magdagdag ng aso. More cotons, <laughs> more shih tzus. And probably another giant poodle for Bella's playmate. Maybe a boyfriend. Pero right now, I'm I'm really happy with them. They don't make noise. Bella is the loudest barker. At saka hindi siya laging tumatahol. Yung pag excited lang siya, yan. And pero usually every day very ano, very tahimik lang sila. They don't bother anyone. Tapos laro-laro lang sila. Babies! Babies! Come here. Bella bu. train ako, si Jojo and my late friend Tina, sila kasi yung founders ng Better Dog. The former Better Dog na unfortunately because of COVID. So Jojo now trains privately. So you can call him because we're posting his number here. He's a, such a great dog trainer. He has a lot of clients actually. He found a way around his schedule so pumayag siya makwarantine ng seven nights and eight days We were training the dogs, and this time I was 100% involved. Because I'm not alone. I'm not going to win, and I saw it as a great opportunity to spend time with them. So they were always so happy. Superstar nga si Jojo pag papasok. Biglang in love na in love sa kanya mga aso ko. Nung una, the first day, takot si Pipi at si Hali kasi nakamask si Jojo. Akala pala nila vet siya. Akala nila doktor. Kasi ganun pala sila umarte sa bed. As in, literally, physically nanginginig si Hali. Tapos si Pipi nagtatago doon sa likod ng planter na malaki. Tapos nagtago sa gitna ng chinelas ko. <laughs> yung ulo niya naka, wow naman. The next day, nakita nila pa nang enjoy yung mga pudel. Tsaka itong sila, although nanginginig din yung mga pudel pag nagdoktor. Nakita nila, eh si Bella at si Pixie, hindi pa sila... <laughs> nasasaksak at masyado na kunan lang ng dugo nung unang dating para ma-examine din ba ng vet. Pero hindi pa katulad nila na ito yung pupuntang vet. Alam nila yung daan. Ayaw nila. I was so excited kasi nakita ko yung galing ng mga aso ko. And si Hali na napaka tahimik lang, mahinhin, tahimik. Ha! Sabi ko, you're that smart pala! Sabi ko, nalang bilis matuto. Nakakatuwa. And ano, parang Si Daisy na nakikisali siya, pero twice na kasi nagka-surgery. Na-opera si Daisy sa mem balakang niya. Then, hindi ko alam. Yung breeder, hindi ko alam. Um, parang nakapatong yung buto niyang ganyan na dapat hindi. So, so hindi siya, kahit hindi siya makatayo or upo ng matino, tinatry niya. So, tawag na lang namin the next two days. Sumasali siya kahit di niya ginagawa yung pinapagawa. Pero nagtatry. Tawag ni Jojo si Dilihen siya. Kasi, binibigyan namin ng treats. <laughs> Sali siya. So, happy siya. May interaction siya. Pero I think more with me kasi. <laughs> And the other dogs were so happy. Si Pixie talaga. At si Bella. Isang turo lang. Parang si Hali at si Pixie. Ang may summer school agad. <laughs> Tawag ko ay summer classes agad kasi umaga, inuuna na ni Jojo dahil after the first two days, medyo matitigas ang ulo yung dalawang maliit na poodles at si Ari. Nung last few days, si Ari superstar naman kasi talagang nagpakitang gilas. Tapos nagkosokit naman, nakakainis naman. Basta ba nahawa to? Anyway, basta I was so proud of them. Parang yung anak mo nagka-medal. Ganun yung feeling mo kasi kaya pala nila. Sit. No. Sit. Sit. Good girl. Sit. Don't say anything yet. Don't say anything. Wait for it. Wait for him to give you a kiss. Sit. Uh-uh. Hi. Sit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Good girl. Good girl. Very, what? 
ano sa akin yung training nila. Very, it was such an eye-opening experience. Kasi pala, pag dog mommy ka or dog parent, kailangan ikaw yung nagtitraining sa sarili mo. Hindi lang yung aso. Um, it's actually training not just for the dogs, but for you. You train yourself how to be a good, you know, leader of the pack. And it's really, kailangan may follow up. Yung ganun, parang hindi yung nalilimot nila. Ngayon, di sila upo pag wala treats. So, ang mahilig lang sumunod dyan, si Pixie at si Bella. <laughs> si Pipi, yan. At si Hali. Yung iba, naku, tigas ng ulo. Lalo yung si Kung Fu Kuki. Uh, lalo nang roll over na sila Bella. Si Bella talagang back and forth, right and left. Pixie only one way. Kasi ito nang gusto niya. So, pero roll over siya. Kasi curled yung kanyang ano. And Jojo said, sa mga aso may ganun parang mas right-handed kaysa left-handed. Parang tao. So si Pixie gusto niya ito lang. Okay to. Okay lang naman daw yun. Ang di pa namin natatapos yung pray. Yung papatong sila dito, sabigyan mo, after a while, dito mo bibigyan ng treat. Habang nakaupo ka. So, magbabaw na sila after a while. Yeah, pero, skonting sa na yan pa. Tsaka yung, pag, yung kunyari, sit, tapos lalayo ka. Dala mo yung treat, tapos nagstay stay Two steps back muna. Mamaya, tapos bigyan mo ng treat. Tapos three steps back, hanggang mga five steps. That's an important part. You can't make a mistake out there. And thankfully, I we didn't. My dogs didn't. So, they were all good. So, they had fun. And I saw na, They were so excited when yung every morning nakaabang na sila, alam na nila. So sa ko na ko jo, mamimiss ka ng mga aso. They're very good and dun ko si Hali kasi na tahimik lang. <laughs> touch na touch na ko na. Ah, ang galing-galing mo pala tatay tahimik ka, genius ka pala yung ganun. It was so touching. Na hanggang ngayon pag magulo yung poodles, pag si Ico sit, oo talaga si Bella, si Pipi, si Hali. Tapos si Pixie, if she can get away with it, she won't. But usually, she's the one that, ano, <laughs> parang stop toy. Tapos si Pixie, ang dami gusto ko midnap dyan. Si Pixie, gusto siya ilagay sa bag. Kasi nakaka-inlove si Pixie talaga. Crap. Here, just go. <laughs> They make me so happy. It's unconditional love. Hindi ka tatarido rin. Mamahalin ka lang. Walang gusto kundi pagkain at pagmamahal. At masarap ng tulugan. Sige. So, I mean, Ay, kung pwede ang lahat kayo, nakatempur! <laughs> Grabe! So, it's like committing to taking care of precious lives. Dogs are precious to me. If I could, if my kids didn't have asthma, I would have aspens too, like we do in the farm. We lost Gandhi, but now, nakipag <clears throat> kumendeng kendeng sa isang aso namin sa farm. At, ayun, May bago kaming aspin ngayon na maliit. Pinangalaan namin siyang JJ, John D. Jr. Kahit hindi anak ni John D. At may history pa rin John D. Yan ang mga aso na nakakapagtaka. Ang kwento nung nagbigay sa amin kay John D. Um, si John D. pala, bigla siyang nawala, ba? Diba? So hindi ko alam kung may kumuha. Kung... Hindi pwede mawala lang siya eh. Pero pati pala yung nanay niya, ganun. Biglang nawala. Pati yung kapatid ng nanay niya na wala rin. Yung umaalis, ang sabi nung nagbigay sa amin, baka may nararamdaman, minsan yung aso ayaw maging pabigat. So, aalis sila. So, hindi sila pabigat sa unay nila, si Master. Tutaro naman na break yung heart ko. ba? Diba? Parang, just ko, ganun magmahal ang aso. It's so unconditional. Di pa sabi nga nila, kahit si Pain mo, babalik pa. So, hindi ko matake yung pag yung cruelty to animals. Hindi ko matake talaga yun. just ko. You know, may, may happy video sa YouTube or mga dog rescues yan. At tapos yung mga nag, naglalaro with babies or with kids. Yan yung mga favorite videos. Yan yung happy videos ko. Yung, kasi yung rescues, mag-uumpis ako, may iyak. Tapos sasaya ka dahil masaya na sila. Pero, pag talagang saya lang gusto mo, yung pag naglalaro yung puppies o yung kumakanta yung aso, o nag-I love yung aso, o kalaro nila yung mga mga bata, like pitbulls, parang ang sama ng reputasyon, but they're actually very sweet dogs. Sobrang happiness ko ang dogs talaga. You know, being a fur mom is so rewarding. So rewarding. It's, it's an investment you make in one of God's creatures, you know, the life of a dog. Um, this is a creature created the the man's best friend you make an investment in a dog you invest your time your love 
their life, their partner and family. My dogs are really parte na ng pamilya ko. I can't live without my dogs. I cannot. Talagang ano, parang yan ang mga comforters ko. When they all come to me and, my God, Bella is so big, pero minsan, di nga niya alam na malaki siya. So, nung isang gabi, binubuhod ko, parang baby, ha, ganun. Eh, lalaki pa siya. But they're all lovely, lovely creatures. I, I'm very soft when it comes to animals. So, um, if you can adopt, it's really better. Uh, gaya na sinabi ko, kung pwede lang marami kaming aspin, pero dahil na may hika yung mga anak ko, hindi pwede. Nagkataon naman, pati ba may little boy ko may hika? Talagang, no. ewan ko ba? Pati yung kapatid ko eh, nung maliit meron. Anyway, buti ako wala kasi mga awit ako, mahirap naman yun. Wala <laughs> kayang kasustage. Bituwing, walang ni... <laughs> Ang hirap naman no. So, anyway, kung if you... It's better to adopt than to shop. But Aspins are actually very, very smart. And it, you would be doing everyone a favor if you could adopt a dog or a cat from POS, the Philippine Animal Welfare Society. And there are many other um, pet orphanages, pet rescue uh, um, organizations in the country as well. So, kahit na makita nyo lang sa kalye, pwede nyo namang ampunin nyo din, di ba yung gala? Kung kaya nyo naman, kung hindi, syempre, just whatever food you can give to mystery cats or stray dogs sa kalye, iwanan nyo nalang ng food doon. At least you're helping them, di ba? So, Yes, the Philippine Animal Welfare Society that I I would always, always uh, ask you to support, ask you the favor of supporting, and that I will always love. And um, in memory of Rosie and all my dogs that have crossed the Rainbow Bridge, and all the dogs that are with me, na habang tumatanda, may nervous ako kasi ayoko mabawasan yung family ko ng mga aso ko. So, um, like, paano kaya pagdating ng araw na wala na si Daisy? Ang hirap isipin kasi lagi mong kasama. So, parang anak talaga. You make an investment and the rewards are a hundredfold. Kasi ang pagmamahal na ibibigay sa'yo, hindi mo... I'm sorry, madidisappoint ka sa tao. Pero sa asong minamahal mo o sa pusang minamahal mo, hindi. So if you give them love, oh my God, the love you get back, uh, you get in return is a hundredfold. They'll stay loyal to you, they will love you, reduce your stress levels, and just be there for you when you get home. They're, they're a very comforting presence to me. And I love my dogs with all my heart. I'm such a firm mom and I'm very proud of it. So, <laughs> kung meron po kayo namang lugar sa inyong buhay, Nako, kahit isa lang, isa lang itry nyo lang. Nako po, you just pick a good, gentle dog. At, nako, um, mag-ingat lang sa mga breeder na, alam niyo yung ginagamit ng yung aso para kumita, tapos tatapon. Yun ang nangyari kay Rosie, yung in ko. Ginamit sa, it was so upsetting, tapos tinapon na lang siya. Literally, tinapon siya, akala patay na siya, tinawag sa pos, yung pala buhay pa. Pero, Tapos ang ganda-ganda niya nung gumaling na siya. Kaya lang nga matanda niya siya. Um, if you can adopt talaga, kahit talagang Aspen, they're very, very smart. And basta dogs, loyal yan. And cats, I hear from my friends, like Chris and like, well, they're very loving as well. I've never really taken care of a cat, but I know they're loving. But my dogs are like my kids. <laughs> Frankie might kill me. Of course, I can't love them as much as I love my kids. But I really love them so much. <laughs> so, kasi minsan ang uwi si Kiko. Sabi niya, baby! Sabi ni Frankie, yung pala papunta kay Daisy. <laughs> Nagalit si Frankie. Dad! Ay! <laughs> it's fun to have dogs. Tapos si Kiko minsan, pag kunyari, yung gagana si Daisy, yung parang kakagatin. Kasi na-upset siya minsan pag ginugulo siya. Kahit ako minsan ginaganyan, yan, noti yan niya, pero bihira. So, oh, sorry. Tapos di ko siya kinakausap. Ano, gating lady siya. Sabi ni Kiko minsan, <laughs> yung nag-online church kami. You, sabi na kay Daisy, you, you pray, you say sorry to Papa Jesus. Sabi ni Frankie to me, Almisa, what, what is this? 
what what is she our sister what is this because when mama talks or mama will say you say stop to ate that's your ate <laughs> go to ate what <laughs> so basta sila ate tapos tawag na namin lahat dito <laughs> kay Ari si kuya si mano o oh, kumpatito sa mga sa pati ako na papa kuya <laughs> Nakakatawa lang kasi parang laging may babies kahit gano'n sila katanda. Babies sila. So parang laging may babies. Basta comfort. Mas gusto ko pang aso sa tao minsan. Maraming tumatry doon sa akin. Hindi naman marami pero masakit. Masakit kahit ilan lang. Dahil sa tao minsan. Anyway, this is for all you dog lovers out there. It's I've had a fantastic time with my babies during training and I have a fantastic time with them every single day of my life. And I love my dogs so much. I, God knows how much I love my dogs. And para akong nagpapaaral ng mga nasa college <laughs> sa gastos ko sa mga to. Para ako may anak na tao na <laughs> mga tatlong anak pa o apat na pinapakalit ko <laughs> you don't have to have much para mag-alaga ng aso pag nag-adopt kayo ng aso pagkain at pangumahal lang yan at comfortable lugar na mahiligan lalo na pagkatabi mo yun lang naman ang pumunan dyan at ang kapalit lang ay sobra-sobra ng love yan from them basta to all of you dog lovers I love you, thank you for loving dogs like I do and um You know what? Like I said, siguro yung Noah's Ark, kaya pinuno din ni Noah at inutos ng Panginoon na paris-paris ng mga iba't ibang klaseng hayop ay dahil mahalaga sila sa buhay natin. So, let's not forget that. Sa akin, that's a very special story. For me, dogs are super duper on top of my list talaga of animals because they really are man's best friend. They're my babies. <laughs> Don't tell my kids. <laughs> Yon yung po. So thank you so much for joining us in this very special vlog about my dogs and being a fur mom, which I love being, which I thank God I am. And uh, I hope that you enjoyed this as much as we did. And um, just love your pets, whatever they may be, and take care of them because they will love you back. And thank you again for joining us. Please, please hit the subscribe button and the bell button right beside it so you're updated on any new vlogs we upload. And thank you so much to all my followers and all the viewers who visit us here. If you're new, welcome to our family on YouTube. And I hope that you continue watching us and that we continue giving you fun, um, a little smile every now and then. I hope that we give you inspiration somehow every week. And of course, a lot of love goes out deep to my heart. God bless you everyone and take care of one another and leave the world a better place than when you first entered it. So let's do something special today. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> Bella? 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 Why are you looking at <laughs>